Hi everyone, and today we're going to be doing an experiment on dizziness and your ears. So come here and let me tell you a story. My name is Phil and you are in my space, but the good thing about all of this is that you will get to do all of this in your space because the stuff that we use is stuff that you can easily find at home. Is that good? Come on, and I'll tell you a little about your ears because I have a model of your ears. This is a model ear like the ones that I have here. Yeah, uh, and ear. There's lots of different parts to your ear and we're dealing with a subject of science called biology. Biology is the part of science that deals with living things, whether they be plant, animal, human, or anything else like that. There are three different parts to your ear. There's the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. And each of these bits has different parts that do different jobs. Your ears are shaped to help sound get funneled in inside and the other bits inside help sound and vibrations hit this thing, which is called your eardrum. And it works quite like a normal drum. When you hit it, it vibrates and creates a sound. This is the other way around where vibrations come in through the ear and your ear interprets those vibrations and figures out what sound it is it is making by the bones that are connected to this eardrum and your cochlea. And the cochlea is the part of your ear that sends signals to your brain. The other part of your ear that we're gonna talk about in relation to dizziness are these things, which are the semicircular canals. So this is the cochlea, the bit that sends the signals out to your brains, and these are the different semicircular canals. They go in different directions. So you have one going in this direction, one going in this direction, and the other one goes in that direction. So this direction, that direction, and this direction. And what they're designed to do is to figure out which way you're moving, because there's liquid and hairs inside of these. And as you move, the liquid and the hairs move with you, and your body is able to determine which direction you are moving in, depending on which way the liquid flows. So if you're moving along this direction, this canal here will be able to tell if you're going this way, but you're not moving anyway in that way. But if you're going forwards and back and sideways, you'll get movement from two of the canals, and your brain can interpret that. Now, that sounds a little bit kind of weird, but I have made something and you can try this yourself and make one of these yourself. This is an old clear bottle, some water. And this bit is a hairy bit that we got from an old fish tank. Uh, and what happens is when you move, you can see that when you move, the water inside moves and so does the hair. So as I move side, to side, you can see that the water moves side to side and then the hair moves side to side. So our brain is able to figure out that we are moving side to side and when we stop, the hairs and the liquid stop. So this is the same that's happening in our semicircular canals. Liquid is moving and the hairs are moving and depending on how much you move, your brain is able to interpret it. The difficulty is, especially with dizziness, is that when you spin around, and you spin and spin around and then stop, the water keeps moving. And this is the same thing that's happening inside your ear. Now, if you only do one spin and then stop, it'll move for a little bit and stop relatively quickly. So your brain's able to interpret that pretty quick. However, if you spin and spin and spin and spin and spin and spin and get uh, oh, dizzy, this will keep moving for longer and longer and it will take your brain longer to settle down and figure out what's going on because the water inside is still moving and the hairs are still moving. So that's what causes you to get dizzy. Now, figure skaters are some of the people in the world that are able to spin around really, really, really fast and not get dizzy and they have a trick. So every time they spin around, they always focus on one Point. And that technique, through training and practice, helps their brain to learn or train. There is another way that people think that if you spin around this way for a little while and get used to it and then spin around in the opposite direction, you're kind of training your brain to be able to deal with this spinning. But our bodies weren't built to spin around, 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 around again. So it can get a bit confusing. Dizziness isn't easy to deal with.
And that's what we'd like you to think about. Like, learn from some of the stuff that we've explored here today and think about where else we could apply it. What else could we do about that? What other experiments about our ears? What you could tell me about your ears? Even send in some facts. Look at rte.ie forward slash learn. Even send us in some of the questions or experiments that you'd like to see here at Homeschool Hub. Thank <laughs> you.